My next guest is a very talented young lady who likes to keep everything in the family, so she's starring on Broadway with her husband, Don Correa, in the musical, which is such a great musical, My One and Only. Will you please welcome Miss Sandy Duncan. Eyes often I've had to caress men. Five or ten dollars, then I collect from all those yes men. Don't be sad, I must add that they meant no more than chess men. Darling, can't you see? Though these lips have made slips, it was never really serious. Who'd have thought I'd be brought to a state that's so dark? And your hair is adorable. I just yeah. spritz it with water and that's it. And that you don't curl, that's it, naturally curl it? No, 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 God, no. Perm and then... Yeah. yeah. And the bo someone told me you just had the second baby, you gained all that weight. Mm. So you, then you lost all that weight immediately. Yeah, I gained 50 pounds with both kids. Not together? Each one. Yeah. Yeah, 100 in the past two years. Oh. <laughs> so, so, thin, so what, what did the kid weigh? 39 pounds? Or yes, that's pounds? right. Yeah. <laughs> Were they big kids? Very big, 9 pounds. Four, well, that uh, left you 41 pounds to lose. That's, well, it's hard, as you know. It really, it's, it, it's incredibly hard to lose all that weight. So how, did you starve? Yeah. As the baby came out, you said, that's it, no food? That's right. That's, that's what you have to do. I know, isn't it terrible? Oh, it's awful. Ugh. It's awful. I have been playing a boy for three years and fat for two. I'm so thrilled to be standing there in those gowns and doing this show. Yeah. So, oh. you know. Now, when you, you have two babies, okay, yeah. everybody's having children tonight, you know, yeah. Lucy. Uh, in fact, Lucy's coming with her kids to our Christmas party. We're having Santa Claus come over and... And, and be uh, one of the, uh, Don Amadoli, who's in the show with us, is gonna dress up like Santa and come over and, and be Santa for all the kids. But yours, you're two, two tiny ones. And eight months and a two-year-old, right. That's 
fast. It's busy, too. God, I go to work to rest is the truth of it. Yeah. Oh. Really? Do you have help? Or are you like Lucy? I have a woman... Well, I'm, I'm a little like Lucy, but n I have a woman who stays with the kids when we're at the show, uh, Chris, and then they come to the show between shows and matinee days and yeah. stuff. It's a lot of juggling, but yeah. it's worth it. That's right. I always felt it was worth it. it also, is. you have to just figure out your time. I'd say, this is going to be Melissa's time, and I, the hell with my friends. I won't see them so often, yeah. you know. You really have to... That's what you have to do. And it's what I really thought of getting out of the business when I had the Why? last... I just did. I thought, I can't do it all. I can't cope with it all. And I'm just going to quit. And, or and sell a kid. Well, I mean, you have a choice. <laughs> I did. I just really thought I couldn't handle it all. And, and there I was, mm, like this, still with, you know, 40 pounds on me. And I, I really didn't think... But I'm glad that I got back did it, and I go, well, I think I can handle this. What other women do, do so... Every woman does nowadays. They do. Oh, what would you, you have know, done? You go, what? What would you have done? They say, I'm going to get out of the business. Seriously, what would you do? Well, that was my problem. I can't do anything. Yeah, but you can you eat know? wheat thins. <laughs> Not anymore. They fired me. Oh, well, <laughs> hell with them. <laughs> hell with them. <laughs> but, but what would you do seriously? Because your whole life you've been a singer. That's right. Since I was 12 years old, I've been working in this business, and I really would... So I guess I would just... That was, that's why I didn't. I said, what am I going to do? There's only so many, you know, you can feed and you can diaper, and then, but what do you do with the rest of your time? And I, I thought, well, I'm going to try and do it all. And I'm delighted that I'm trying. It's the best year of my life. Isn't that nice? Isn't yeah. that nice? I'm having the best time I have ever had. And you're working with your husband. Does that yeah. give you a problem? None. Not one. That's a little too fast there. None. Oh, none. 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 No problems. None. You didn't even think. No, you know why? Because everybody asks me that. Every time I do an interview, they go, how is it to work? It is the easiest... Of course, I get the support. We get along, and I've been through two to find out, so it's not yeah. like... You I know, was going to ask you... I'm that. lucky the first time out. Now, everyone thinks you as, you know, what? like what? Maria Osmond. You know? No, they do Oh, not. yes, they do. You're very oh. goody, goody. Oh, yes, they oh. do. Right now, everyone thinks... Am I right? Goody, goody. I'm telling you. Oh, yes. And then when you say, but wait, and but that, that tramp has had three husbands, then they go into shock. Right, it's shock. <laughs> Don't you go into shock a little bit, son? Three husbands? No, because that, because the fact is, I have a goody-goody image because I played those parts. Yes. But anybody who knows me knows that I am a tramp. <laughs> <laughs> confused about what you do and who you so are. So the men's room was right. Exactly. I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> the 800 number. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but why did you... These days, I mean, if, yeah. I think if, if Edgar and I broke up, I would probably just... Not that he would want me, but I'd be saying, come on, Sarah, let's live together. How come you keep getting married? And I'm just curious. Hmm. Just not curious. Yeah, just but just curious. why. Yeah, curious yeah. why. Um... Third uh, it, time. Huh? I mean, a third time. It's a lot of... Wouldn't you say at one point, maybe it's not for me? No, because I like, I like the idea of being married. I like being married. It's just I, I didn't you... like the people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea and the institution. So I lucked out this time, and it's working out, and I like it. I'm glad I hung in there and tried it one more time. And I waited to have babies till I was sure that I could, you know, stay with this person, because I do take that real seriously. Like yeah, I do, too. It's the most important thing in my life, so... And God knows I waited long enough. I'm going to be 38 any minute. Yeah. So I really... That's me too. It's got... <laughs> oh, sure. Sure. Turn against me. Turn against me. <laughs> now, you had a very bad birth. Someone told us. I oh, had hell with Melissa. But they told me your second... Your first the birth. The first. The first. I was in labor for 27 hours. And they went, this isn't working. And then they did a cesarean. Thank you very much. Why did they wait 27 hours? Because you got a mouth. Beats me. And the doctor hit going off to sleep or something. I don't know. <laughs> You come back and check me and go, not yet. And, uh, <laughs> and you go, when? When? So 27 hours later, yeah, the cesarean. So the second was a cesarean. And you just make an appointment and go in. Yeah, which is much nicer. Did you know what the second was going to be? Yeah, because I had amniocentesis both times. Yeah. So you know in advance you can decorate the room. What are they? <laughs> Boys. 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 Right, yeah. yeah, that's nice. You don't, so wouldn't you like try again for a girl, have a girl? I would love to have a third baby. But I think I... No, he kicked my slats out the second one. I really don't think I could do it again. I had to have all kinds of surgery after because I... I it's enough. No. Two's it. Well, wait to change your life and then, you know, have another one then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I know. It's People get, I know. get a little old and they say, oh, Are you I love considering doing it? Oh, absolutely. Are you really? Absolutely. Well, that's terrific. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Are you serious, me, Well, I had my first hot flash, so I better hurry. <gasps> <laughs> my girdle melted. We'll be right back at this Sensitive so please stay tuned. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Thank you for bringing him on. What a nice show tonight has been. Well, what a thank Doc for sitting here. Uh, Lucille Ball, Sunday night, to be an all-star party on Sunday, another network, 
Sandy and Don, my one and only, and I bet you're just fabulous for this. Thank uh, you. Uh, Morgan Fairchild, Paper Dolls, and Super Looks, right? Yes, thank you. And Betty White, Pets are a wonderful family album, okay? Yes, thank, thank you, you all so much. Tomorrow night we have a great show also. We have James Kahn, Lauren Hutton, Lynn Gregrave, and comedian Jimmy Alec. So please come back and watch it tomorrow night. And Edgar, I'll be right home. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. Coming up, The Love Connection, followed by The Crazy Annex of David Letterman, all here on Channel 5.